Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some news as always, but before we get into the news, I just want to remind you guys that if you enjoy this video or this type of video, make sure that you leave a like, give the thumbs up down there, and make sure you subscribe to the channel to continue to get updated on all of the newest reviews and news videos and repaints, of course, that I post on here. So without further ado, let's get to the news. The very first thing that I have is from Creative Beast Studio as we have another new paint scheme revealed from the Beasts of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaur series. This one I believe is the Morose Intrepidus and again I think it's a really beautifully done paint scheme. It is perfectly executed as always as far as the artwork that we see here before us. I'm sure it'll look fantastic on the actual prototype when we do eventually see it. I'm really excited about this one because this is one that I definitely have not seen a figure made of prior to this so it's really awesome to see one coming from the Tyrannosaur series and we are definitely narrowing down the final few as far as the paint schemes go so I'm really excited to continue to see what the future paint schemes will look like as again we only have a few left but this one definitely looks great and yet again very natural as far as the overall appearance goes so another really cool Tyrannosaur added to the many Tyrannosaurs in the Tyrannosaur series. And speaking of the Tyrannosaur series, we have another really cool image here showing the u Tyrannus is ready to paint with a few other figures that we have here as far as the Tyrannosaur series goes, as far as the prototypes go. We have the Bistahi Eversur and Lithronax here in comparison to the u Tyrannus. And I'm really psyched to see the u Tyrannus painted up so far. David Silva has been doing a killer job on each and every one of the prototypes and the paint schemes and everything as far as they go have all looked excellent so I'm really psyched to see the u Tyrannus once it is officially painted up and ready to display. And then a thanks to Tyler Smith for pointing this news out to me but David Krentz is currently in the process of creating yet another T-Rex. We can see this is Jane the sub-adult T-Rex and I think as per usual when David Krentz creates something he always creates nothing short of exquisite beauty and that is exactly what we see here. I unfortunately don't have any of David's work in my collection but I have seen a lot of it so I know that it's absolutely unbelievable as far as everything that I've ever seen from him so I'm certain that this will be exactly the same. No word quite yet on release date or anything but it definitely looks fantastic and I'll be very intrigued to find out price point and all of that information when we do officially get that information. And then as far as Mattel goes and the final thing that I have here today which there is quite a bit of it to get through Collect Jurassic recently unveiled quite a bit of really cool stuff as far as different Mattel images on us and I wanted to run through the ones that are new that they had just released which the very first one is the Kenji and Monolophosaurus set which looks really cool it's nice to finally get some more of the Camp Cretaceous human characters however I must say that that Monolophosaurus looks really interesting and I'm really excited to see that they've done you know a little bit of alternate sculpting on this figure in comparison to some of the previous ones. It'll be nice to have, you know, that alternate variation as far as the figure goes, and I really like it. I like the paint scheme and everything on it. And of course, the Kenji figure is just the added plus, if you ask me. I'm never super interested in, well, I mean, I would definitely be interested in some of the older human figures as far as the Jurassic Park line, like a Tim and a Lex and stuff, but I'm not super interested in the Camp Cretaceous human figures, but of course I am still excited regardless for that set and seeing some more human figures get a release. We also have another Darius figure, which this time Darius gets released with a Gallimimus, and although it's a little tough to really tell exactly how good that paint application is on that, it looks pretty decent overall, and I'm definitely interested to see more of the Gallimimus. I actually think what I can see here actually looks really nice as far as the coloration, the tones, and everything goes. And we can actually see that there is a just hatching Bumpy figure down there, which is really awesome. Now we have many different forms of Bumpy in the Mattel line. And then we also have a Yasmina figure coming out, which does seem to include a Velociraptor Blue, which I do believe is the same Velociraptor Blue from the upcoming Raptor Squad release. But we also have a few compies included here that we can see crawling all over her. This one is probably the least exciting, if you ask me, because, again, it's just a Velociraptor Blue figure, which we've had about 4 million of, and it's the exact same Velociraptor Blue that we're going to be getting in an alternate pack, and then just some more compies, which the compies also look to be the same so the only thing really new I would say with this set would be 
the human figure itself. And again, I'm not super psyched for the Camp Cretaceous human figures to see a release, but it's definitely something that I will pick up regardless. And then we have another look at the Chompin Carnotaurus, which is a figure that I definitely am quite psyched about because I've loved each of the previous variations as far as the Velociraptor Blue and Indominus style figures that were like this. And I'm really psyched for this Carnotaurus, especially because on top of looking insanely cute, but quite screen accurate, I mean, as far as a goofy little baby sort of Carnotaurus Toro goes, it actually has a lot of action features compared to the previous one. As you can see, you can move the head all over the place and swivel the head and everything, as well as a really interesting action feature where it appears as though the neck kind of shoots out, I guess, or definitely extends at the very least. So I'm really intrigued to see this figure in person, but also just to be able to add another really cool Carnotaurus to my collection from the Mattel line. Definitely something that I personally am really psyched about. And then we also have some more images of the Carcarodontosaurus showing the figure a little better as well as some of the action features with like the capture gear flying off similar to the new Tyrannosaurus Rex that's coming from Mattel and I think it looks really cool overall. There's still something a little off about this figure if you ask me. It definitely looks really nice. I love the paint scheme and I do quite like the sculpt. It's just there's I'm not really sure what it is. I honestly can't really put my finger on it. It's just not as nice as I was expecting it to be. The legs, for one thing, I'm not a huge fan of. They just look a little strange to me, and I really wish they would have run the brown stripe through the upper part of the thigh there, like in the hip region. I think that would have definitely made the figure look a little better, but at the same time, I am psyched to see a new species entering the Mattel line, especially when it comes to a Carcarodontosaurus. And then we have a bunch of new Roar Attack images from the Mattel figures. The very first one that we have here is the Allosaurus. And I think the Allosaurus is definitely one of my favorites coming out from the upcoming Roar Attack figures. I absolutely love the sculpt of this figure and the paint scheme as well is shockingly appealing if you ask me. I wouldn't expect normally those tones of green to work so well on a figure but honestly I think it looks great and this is definitely one of my most anticipated roar attack figures coming from the Mattel line however I will say that my most anticipated is unquestionably the Oranosaurus and we do have another alternate image here of the Oranosaurus and it looks absolutely beautiful just like the other image had shown us previously it definitely is a really nice figure this is another one that I really want to get a hold of give a repaint to the paint application that we do have here on it is pretty decent but I definitely would love to give it a more realistic paint application overall definitely a great figure though and then we also have the two alternate Camp Cretaceous Baryonyx figures with Limbo and Chaos and you can see that as far as both of these go they look really nice I definitely am a big fan of these figures the paint application for the most part is really nice especially on this one here you can definitely see that it looks beautiful if you ask me and another Baryonyx is definitely not a bad thing however once we get to this one I'm not super sold on the paint application of this one it's only because the paint application is so abruptly short as far as the body goes I really would have liked to have seen more paint application running out a little further into the tail and stuff I really feel like that is the biggest downside to this one here specifically I'm still thinking it's going to be a pretty darn nice figure once it does arrive but it definitely could have been a little better and then we have the adult version of Bumpy which looks very similar to the previous Ankylosaurus from Mattel with a little bit of difference of course more of a Bumpy style look but it definitely looks really cool not my most anticipated figure for the upcoming line but there is quite the following for Bumpy, so I'm sure many people are really psyched about it. And then we have the Ceratosaurus, which I also think looks really cool. I'm definitely liking this newer version of the Ceratosaurus. I think I like the older one a little better, just because it seemed a little bit more screen accurate, but it's tough to really tell, especially from the images that we've had so far of this Ceratosaurus, but I really think it looks beautiful overall, but I can't really give my full opinion, of course, until I see the figure in person. And speaking of these figures, we actually have a look at them in packaging as far as both the Ceratosaurus and Limbo. So it is exciting to see them in package because it means that hopefully the release isn't too far off. And again, the Ceratosaurus looks even better, I would say, than the previous images in this in-box image. Definitely very excited about all of these upcoming Mattel figures. And then the final Mattel figure that we have here to look at, well, it's not just one figure. It's the upcoming Snap Squad Attitude figures. And we'll start here with the Stegosaurus. A nice closer look at that Stegosaurus. Probably my favorite Snap Squad figure ever because he is just the absolute most chill, 
stegosaurus that I've ever seen. He just looks so insanely awesome and I absolutely cannot wait to get a hold of this figure. Again, that's probably my favorite Snap Squad so far. We also have this Raptor, which obviously has a very grumpy look on him. He's definitely growling at us right now, but I really quite like the newer appearance to the Raptor. Almost a T-Rex style paint application, which almost confuses me. When I first saw the image, I actually thought it was a Rex until I realized there were sickle claws because the paint application is so similar in coloration to the Mattel Rex figures. And then we also have the Triceratops with a very grumpy look on his face as well, also kind of growling at us. So we are quite prepared for the fact that these newer Snap Squads are going to be insanely grumpy. And then we have what I believe would be the Dimorphodon, and he as well looks really quite nice, and it's nice to see a Pterosaur finally enter the line of Snap Squads. Pretty cool paint application on him as well. And then we have the Baryonyx, which also looks quite nice. Nothing super amazing as far as this guy goes. It doesn't really look like he's growling or anything, but still a pretty fun figure, and I definitely am quite psyched to get a hold of all of these upcoming Snap Squad Attitude figures. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.